Hi, welcome to the podcast for When the Curves Line Up for June 16, 2024, featuring a preview of Jupiter. Please see the article that includes diagrams of today's events on the website at whenthecurveslineup.com. Text by Jeffrey L. Hunt. In Chicago, sunrise occurs at 5.15 a.m. Central Daylight Time followed by sunset at 8.28 p.m. Here is today's planet forecast. In the morning sky, three bright planets are west of the sun, rising before daybreak. At one hour before sunrise, during morning twilight, Saturn is one-third of the way from the southeast horizon to overhead. Dimmer than might be expected, the planet appears as a yellow-orange star. It is brighter than most stars in the sky this morning. Compare it to Fomalot, the 13th brightest star for Northern Hemisphere skywatchers. Red-orange Mars is farther east, nearly 20 degrees above the eastern horizon and over 45 degrees to Saturn's lower left. After their conjunction on April 10, Mars has opened a wide gap to the ringed wonder. At this hour, Jupiter is a few degrees above the east-northeast horizon, about 30 degrees to Mars' lower left. Venus and Jupiter are visible when they are near the horizon, because their light is not affected as much as the other planets, mainly because they are noticeably brighter than all the nighttime stars. Wait another 15 minutes and Jupiter is 5 degrees above the horizon. At this level of twilight, a binocular is needed to spot Mars. In a few mornings, Jupiter is high enough to see earlier during twilight. At one hour before sunrise on solstice morning, the Jovian giant is about the same altitude as it is this morning when Jupiter, Mars, and Saturn span nearly 80 degrees across the eastern morning sky. As Mars widens a gap to Saturn, it overtakes Jupiter. Their conjunction occurs on August 14 when the red planet passes 0.3 degrees above the solar system's largest world. In the evening sky, Venus and Mercury are east of the Sun and considered evening planets, although they are tucked into bright twilight. Venus passed superior conjunction, on the Sun's far side, on the 4th, while Mercury passed that configuration only two days ago. They set less than 20 minutes after nightfall. 40 minutes later, as darkness falls, the bright gibbous moon, 76% illuminated, is less than halfway up in the south-southwest. Earlier today, the lunar orb occulted or eclipsed Spica for sky watchers in Asia. From North America, the moon is 3.9 degrees to the lower left of the star. On July 13, the moon occultation occurs for sky watchers across North America. It is the second of 20 moon Spica occultations that last through November of 2025. Tonight, the moon sets after midnight and over three hours before daybreak. Thank you for listening. Please read the articles at whenthecurveslineup.com.